welcome to the vlog. <laughs> It's Elena and I'm back with another Cambridge vlog and today I have a supervision for international law But I already had my first supervision of the year yesterday for land law and it went quite well, um, which is good I was really scared of land law because it is really complicated Also CJ is staring at me <laughs> from awkward <laughs> So yeah, usually I like vlog like you know on my own because um yeah, like, it's, I'm still, like, getting used to, like, vlogging, like, I don't know. I, I'm very embarrassed if I do it in public, so, yeah. Um, anyway, so today, the plan is, um, I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer than usual because I have to drop this off at the post office because I applied for a student loan, which I don't really need, um, because you have to apply for it in order to be exempt from the college fee, which is a few thousand pounds. So it's worth applying for it, um, but then you need to cancel it again if you don't want it. Um, so I have to go there, drop this off, and then I go to the faculty. I have one lecture today, and then later I'll have my supervision. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write down all my questions that I have for today's supervision, and then I think it should be fine time-wise. Then I'll just go, get breakfast and a battery, and then the post office, and I'll go to the faculty and do some readings for my jurisprudence supervision, which I have on Sunday. So yeah, that's the plan of the day. college now and I basically have like a bit of time now until my supervision at 3 30 so that's about 12 30 now so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat lunch now and I'm not really that hungry so I think I'm just gonna make myself some cereal and just eat that um I can like hear Sijen judging me in my head because she's always like cereal is only breakfast um but I don't eat cereal for breakfast I just eat it like randomly throughout the day whenever I'm hungry so that's what I'm gonna eat um, and then I'm gonna have to do some more work so I'm planning to you know go over my notes for international law like one last time and maybe add like you know just a couple post-its to it and then I'm gonna get to my work on jurisprudence so jurisprudence is basically legal philosophy um, it's a really really interesting subject and I did a lot of summer reading on it because I was very worried about it because it is very different to my other subjects because it's not like you know okay, you have case A, B, and C, and D, and, you know, you just apply them in a problem question or something. It doesn't work that way. Um, so it is quite a new approach for me. Um, but I quite like it so far, um, and I have to finish my readings for it. My supervision is on Sunday, so I still have a lot of time. But I am planning to, you know, also start my readings for my other supervisions next week, this week. Um, I'm hoping this sentence makes sense. Um, but, yeah, basically I'm just trying to work ahead as much as I can. Um, so that's why. So the plan now is I'm going to eat and then I'm going to do more work because yeah, that's pretty much my life every day in law school. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. my favorite study spot which is where I also just filmed that last time lapse which is just being here on my window and I can just see people punting by it's pretty fun I like this place um I can like also like look like into the rooms and hear my fuzzy socks which really don't match but whatever um but yeah this has become like my new study spot in a way like I go here and read and then I like go down to my desk and like, I write all my notes um yeah, that, that's kind of like my new system. I don't know, I really like reading here because you have like really nice light um, and you can like look outside and it's 
it's a really really beautiful place to sit on i don't know um i really really love this spot i'm not sure if they like intended that you can sit here but it's pretty big like you can definitely like actually fit two people here i think um so that's why i come up here every once in a while so yeah, I'm just going to keep reading a little bit more for jurisprudence. Um, it's a quite intense read, like you have to take notes on it like every few paragraphs. Um, but it's really, really interesting. So I'm just going to keep doing that and then I'm going to go to my supervision. And yeah, um, then I'll probably get back to work because that's pretty much all I'm doing. Many hours later. Oh my god, this looks so professional. <laughs> Guys, Sijin suggested the setup. Like I found a place to put my camera. Yeah, I'm like a social media consultant at this point. Yeah, like if I could pay her, I would. <laughs> um. I'm your friend. I, I pay you in love. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I finished my first supo, um, and it went well. Like my professor actually said, this went really well, and I was like, oh, thank God. I was so scared of the supervision because I'm really excited for international law, so I don't want to mess up. Um, so yeah. But it went well, um, and honestly I had a lot of fun doing it, but I now only have handwritten notes because we weren't allowed to bring laptops into our supervision. So I'm going to type them because I am not a fan of handwritten notes. I love making study notes in a handwritten way, but I can't do notes that are handwritten really quick that are then also pretty. So I'm going to type it all out, but I don't think it will take that much time because I know like what I've been doing. But now I'm going to go to McDonald's because that's where I go when I'm happy, when I'm sad, anytime basically. But I have a limit now, which is two times a week. The problem is this is already my second time and it's only Tuesday. So we have a problem, but <laughs> CJ is laughing already. But in my defense, yesterday, um, my laptop kind of died on me. Um, so I found out in the morning that it was just gone and I had my first supervision in like two hours. So I needed McDonald's to, you know, calm myself. And now I need McDonald's to celebrate. And Sijin is hungry too, so she's coming with me. Because I haven't had lunch, theoretically. You haven't had lunch? So theoretically, I had a sandwich at like 11, like 10.30. I had a sandwich. Mm. So I haven't had, I had like two biscuits and that's it. So this, I'm going to get a McFlurry before haul tonight. I'm kidding, I'm getting chicken McNuggets. So I might be swayed for fries and the McFlurry. We'll see. Anyway, it's McDonald's. That's good. Let's go. How does it feel to be back at the good place? I actually have food, so I'm happy. <laughs> this actually looks really good. There's nothing but Smarties in here, so it can't be bad. So I got myself some chicken McNuggets and I think I'm just going to eat these now and probably start my book of the week, which I haven't chosen yet. Um, but there's one which I do really want to read, um, which I recently got a Waterstone. And it's this one, Autonomous Weapons Systems, which sounds a bit, I don't know, weird and a bit scary and creepy. But um, it's, I think, more of like a textbook style book. Um, and it was in a law section, so it's about law, ethics, policies, rounding up. Um, and yeah, I think it will be quite interesting, honestly. Like, I picked it up and I was like, whoa, that, that sounds kind of cool. Um, and this week I have, like, a bit more free time because I only have one supervision left, which is on Sunday. And it's jurisprudence. And there's relatively little reading for jurisprudence. So I think I could conquer a book like that in this week. So yeah, I mean, we'll see if it's realistic. Um, but I think I'll just start reading that, eating my chicken McNuggets. And then I get back to work. Okay, so I started reading this book and I really, really love it. Um, it's really interesting um, because it basically asks questions about, you know, um, for example, what does it do to, you know, your right to a dignified death if there is such a thing? Um, if you're killed by a robot, like, you know, is that still a dignified death? Um, things like that. And do we even have like a good justification for, you know, using weapons which are basically used by robots um, and you know how much control do we still have over them it's really really interesting um, it's written like more as like a collection of essays um, and it is quite law heavy I would say even though it also says it talks about ethics and policy and yes they are in there um, but I think if you're a law student and you're doing international law it's really really interesting um, or just generally you know if you're interested in that um, it is not written you know too academically like I think you can make sense of it even if you haven't attended a law course um, but I think it's a lot easier to understand it if you are a law student but still the terminology is not that hard so I think it's fine 
Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. I'm really excited to read this. Um, if you guys are interested in the book, I'm going to link it in the info box below as usual. And now it's time to get back to work. So what's going to happen today is I'm going to write up my notes for my international law supervision. And then I'm going to work on jurisprudence. And we're going to see how far I get. But yeah, since that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day, I think um, I'll end my vlog for today here. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I'm basically on my way to the buttery, but I do have some good news um, because my laptop decided to come back from the dead, which is really, really good news. Um, it just wasn't really working anymore, like it was like uh, taking like, three minutes to open Safari, which is not great. Um, so that wasn't good, but it's back, um, but I'm still scared that this is like a temporary thing that it's back. So um, I still have an appointment on Saturday and I'm going to go checked out. But yeah, now I'm going to go and get breakfast and then I'm going to go to the faculty because today I have six hours of lectures, which is a lot. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how this day goes. Um, I have to stay down to 6 p.m. and I have a few breaks in between lectures. So I'm just going to go and like, you know, get food at some point and hopefully get some work for jurisprudence done. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how the day goes. Um, this is the longest day of lectures I've ever had. Um, so I don't really know like how exhausting it will be because lectures are quite intense because you have to really really focus and take notes very very quickly So, uh, yeah We're gonna see how the day goes. Wish me luck. And yeah, let's go back and it turns out I'm an idiot um, who doesn't really know how to do math because it isn't 6 p.m. it is 5 p.m. Elena. <laughs> so my lectures end at 5 not 6 so that's good news I guess um, but it's still six hours of lectures and um, my brain is fried like a chicken McNugget um, and the problem is I'm really really hungry and the buttery isn't open yet so now we're eating the only healthy thing I had in my fridge, which is grapes, which is not very much like dinner. I'm not intending that to be my dinner, but I just need to eat something right now. Um, so here's the plan. I'm going to eat some grapes until I get some energy. And then I think I'm going to read a little bit more of my book, which so far I really, really like. Um, as I said, I'm going to get a new box if you're interested. Um, I think if you're a law student, it's a really, really great read. Even if you're not a law student, um, I think you can definitely, you know, get through it even if you're not a law student. I just think it's a bit easier if you have some background. Um, but yeah, so far I like it. I'm just going to read a little bit in depth because it's still like, you know, a challenging read, obviously, but I don't have to like, you know, take notes and like constantly think, oh, will I be examined on this or whatever? And I'm going to eat some grapes in the process because, yeah, that's all I had left that was somewhat healthy. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to like chill a little and I'm going to get dinner at six, hopefully in the buttery, unless I get weak and, you know, I go to my favorite place, which... I'm sure you can guess which it is, given my phone case. Um, so yeah, I, I might get weak. I mean, I had six hours of lectures today and I'm fried like a chicken McNuggets, so I feel like it's fair if I get weak. But at the same time, my two times a week limit has already been used up and it's only Wednesday. Are we doing good? Not really, but you know, <laughs> it's okay. Maybe two times a week was a bit ambitious for my McDonald's limit. But yeah, now it's too late to change it. So all I can do is break it. So yeah, that's the plan. Grapes, autonomous weapon systems, and hopefully we'll stay strong when we go to the battery or we might get weak. We'll see. Five minutes later. So it's a little bit later and am I a weak little girl who just, you know, runs to McDonald's to drown her problems in chicken McNuggets? Yes, yes I am. Um, well that's fine. Maybe not. Um, 
My McDonald's consumption is already at a concerning level and this is the first full week of lectures so um, this is not good <laughs> to put it mildly because this is McDonald's run number three and it is Wednesday which means I still have a few days in this week left and I can do a lot of damage in these few days regarding McDonald's consumption so that's not good but you know what I'm really on top of my academic work like really on top so I feel like I deserve it honestly don't listen to me this is just me justifying getting junk food it's not good <laughs> um, so here's what's gonna happen I'm gonna eat this and then I, I'm maybe gonna work a little bit more, maybe not. Um, I really have to see how I feel about work after this because this was a very, very exhausting day. Especially because, um, you know, I, I didn't really have like a real break in between because in the law faculty you're always just working. And then for lunch, I really had to eat my lunch like really, really quickly because it takes quite a while to line up. Um, so that wasn't great. So I think I'm gonna try to make myself some lunch, <laughs> which is gonna be interesting because I have no cooking skills, but we're gonna get there. Um, but yeah, that's why like the entire day was just like really stressful. So I think I'm just gonna eat this, read a little bit and chill and that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna see if I'm still willing to do work. Um, but honestly, I'm not really sure, but that's okay. Um, but there's one thing that I want to talk to you guys about and that is how I felt being back. Because now I've been, you know, in lectures for five days because lectures start on Thursdays. So I just wanted to talk about that quickly because, you know, when I came back, it felt like kind of weird because... I, I mean, I know that there's a pretty good chance that quite a few people have seen my video where I talked about intimidating and where I publicly cried on the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, not my best moment. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it's a bit weird to like, you know, go back and know that some people may have seen you cry because crying is quite personal and that they know that, you know, you've dealt with a mental health issue and stuff. But honestly, it hasn't actually felt weird. Um, like in the beginning I was scared that maybe people would look at me differently or anything but that wasn't the case um, like it's still just as normal and like I think sometimes we just overthink you know ourselves and like we think everybody you know analyzes us like all the time which is not true everybody has their own issues um, but yeah that was something I was really really scared of you know with regards of coming back but it's been absolutely fine. It's like one of these moments where you realize how far from reality your worries really are. So yeah, I, I just wanted to get this off my chest because I've gotten quite a few questions on social media about how is it being back for you and stuff. And that was something I was really, really scared of, you know, doing, like going back. I was, I was scared that it, it was going to be weird and that I couldn't be happy here anymore or anything. But honestly, I'm really happy and... I'm so much more positive. Like I realized that in my um, vlog during exams when I didn't give myself a lot of crap, you know, for not being perfect because I was really sick. Um, and I know last year I wouldn't have had that outlook. I wouldn't have said, oh, but I've done my best nonetheless. Um, and I'm proud of myself. I wouldn't have said that. And that's why I think this year is really different. And yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I don't know, this sounds like I'm a self-help book, but I mean it, and um, I mean that's good, I guess. Um, but you know, one thing is a constant in my life, in the good and bad times. McDonald's is always here for you. So yeah, they should pay me because I'm literally like advertising so much for them. Like honestly, like I would have so many ideas for like McDonald's marketing campaigns. It's not even funny. <laughs> so you know, in case law school doesn't work out, you know where I'll be applying for a job. Yeah, now I'm going to eat my chicken McNuggets, um, read a little and maybe do some work, but yeah. I probably won't film this because, I mean, you've seen me do enough work for today, so um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And it's the next day, and today I have two lectures and I have a two-hour break in between, which is super, super chill. What? It's a two-hour break. It's a two-hour break. Oh. Well, <laughs> CJ well, just realized. Well. Um, so that's beautiful so I'm probably gonna just have lunch at the faculty because we have like a um, sandwich coffee shop there um, but the sandwiches are quite good so I'm just gonna eat one of those and then I'm gonna go to the UL afterwards so the university library and I'm just gonna study there because I love their main reading room because you just sit there and everybody around you is working and I'm somebody who does respond to peer pressure in this scenario so you know it just makes me want to work because otherwise I feel guilty for not working so it's good for like guilt trapping yourself into working so that's what I'm gonna do um, and I'm just gonna bring my jurisprudence work and my family law work because I think I can finish jurisprudence in like 
an hour, latest an hour and a half, because it's not that much reading, but it's quite intense. So, you know, I want to give myself some time to like really work through the text because we have fairly little text to read assigned. So I think we should deal with it more in detail than you normally would with other readings. Um, and after that, I'm going to start Family Law. And yeah, we're going to see how far I get with that. My supervision for Family Law is next week, so I still have quite some time. But obviously, it will be great to finish it this week. So yeah, that's the plan for today. guys I'm back from the UL um, and it is now almost six and we're on our way to a contract lecture which isn't even mandatory <laughs> I mean reasonableness is super interesting okay I did that like for like an internship nearly killed me but like it's interesting <laughs> so um, that's what we're doing one of the law lords is coming and we're just gonna it's a law lord yeah it's Lord Newey oh cute name I like it same <laughs> um, so um, yeah that's what we do in our free time because I'm dead <laughs> And outside. <laughs> Translation, we have no life outside law. Um, also, my sandwich in the law faculty was horrible and I'm really, really hungry. So, it's she the fourth time this week. And it's Thursday. It's Thursday, so uh, I still have a few days to do more damage. Just so. go for like 7 for 7. <laughs> Once a day. Well, we'll see. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we made it out of our lecture and now we're at Hong Kong Fusion to get dinner because I needed Hong Kong food and um, we're really hungry. <laughs> see, Jen, how was our lecture? I liked it. I mean, I found it quite interesting. I quite, so I did like a bit of stuff on contractual interpretation and I find it weird but fun. <laughs> That's a mood. Um, also guys, this is Dan. <laughs> He's a bit camera shy, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but in case you don't know, he is the person behind the Cam Tweet Law <laughs> account. I'm going to link it in the info box below. Um, it's a Twitter account where you can basically find out what it's like to study Lord Cambridge because, you know, he just tells you about his life as a law student, which I think is really, really useful. I, I love your Twitter account, I do. Thanks, yep. <laughs> um, so we're going to get dinner now and and then CJ and I are going to do the thing that's most essential to our friendship next to McDonald's, which is going to Sainsbury's. So we're back from Sainsbury's um, and you know, I was a bit tired and that means I was emotionally weak. So I bought a lot of snacks um, because that's what I do. Um, so now we have chocolate in the house. Um, this is literally the chocolate that I eat like whenever I'm stressed. That is good chocolate. It is. Um, like during exam season in Hong Kong, I ate two of these on the daily. Which is probably not good. Um, that's probably the reason I have bad skin, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wear a lot of makeup, <laughs> so it's fine. And then we got some bourbon biscuits because I love them. I love them so much. And some nerds. Um, those usually last me like quite a while because it's quite a big package, but I love nerds. So yeah, there we go. And of course, the essence of life. Thank God. <laughs> um, they only had four of these in Sainsbury's and there is a Chinese store here. So I'm going to go there and like, get some more. But yeah, that was my Sainsbury shop, which is 
really, you know, just a lot of unhealthy stuff because that's kind of my thing. Um, but yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, and yeah, I think that's also the end of this vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in the book of the week, it's going to be linked in the info box below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.